And here we go. Hey, and here we go. Hey, here we, here we. Hey, what's up, good people, aka winners? That's all we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Thicky, thicky. Hey, hey. Before we get started on this video, I already know that you guys have a spoiler alert if you read the title before you even came in. And I'm pretty sure that you did because that's what I do. That's what causes me to click on a video, okay? So I know you know what's going down. But before we get started and I just pull you all the way in and give you all the goods, please make sure that you subscribe and join the fam bam over here, okay? And make sure you follow me on my social media platforms. Um, I am on uh, CQ Beauty. I don't really give Snapchat a lot of love anymore, but I do have a Snapchat, okay? CQ underscore beauty on Instagram. I have a Facebook CQ Beauty and your girl just got on TikTok. TikTok, tick, I know. I don't really use it a lot. I'm getting like used to it. Being, you know, active on a lot of platforms is like, OMG. And I'm on Twitter too, but I'm not really in those Twitter streets too much. But, you know, you just, you know, if you don't want to miss a beat, you could just, we could be friends in all areas, okay? But you definitely want to subscribe here so you don't miss any uploads. If you can comment below and in the comments and let me know what you want me to talk about, like the top things. I have an idea that I wanna do as well while we're on quarantine, but what I'm doing now is I am putting on a primer because I am, I know that I have the gift of gab, which is why I already did the brows and I already did the eyes because I don't wanna keep you here like way, way long, okay? Um, I do have a question. What would you guys think about if I did like a live and um, I just talked about like a product um, highlight or something like that and I did something like that? So let me know what you guys think. If you would rather me do live here or if you would rather me do a live on Facebook and share here, like I'm open. I can definitely do a live here. I just know that when they're longer videos, sometimes, um, well, I guess it wouldn't make a difference. Live here would probably be the way to go, huh? Hmm, but let's get into the reason that I am here, okay? I am here to talk about concealers that you absolutely need in your life. That's why I'm all up in your grill so you can see the real AA. Hey, hey. But I'm talking about concealers that you need in your life, uh, drugstore and high end, because I don't want to exclude anything because I definitely have a love for both sides of the spectrum. And I wanted to share it with you guys because inquiring minds always wanna know. So let's start with the concealers that I use on my eyebrows. Now these are concealers that I've used all the time. I am gonna talk about some concealers that I used in the past, but I'm gonna talk about what I loved about them. And I'm also gonna talk about what I love about my staples today. So I'm gonna give you an idea of certain concealers that you can try that are not just limited to what I have. But of course, I have not tried everything in the world, okay? So if I don't mention a concealer that you absolutely love and can't live without, just like no judging. It's like no, no love lost, no shade to the product. I may not have tried it. Or if I tried it, it may not have worked out for me, all right? So the first product that is definitely a staple of mine is a concealer from LA Girl Cosmetics. And I'm sure I have loads and loads and loads of videos with me using this LA Girl concealer. And this is in the shade Fawn, and what I do is I use it, and like I said, I didn't wanna kinda make the video super long, so I didn't do it in this video. But I always use it under my brow to scope the brow. Now, I don't use it on the top of my brow because I don't know if you guys are aware, but listen, if you do your makeup, and you take selfies, and you examine those selfies after the fact, right, you're like, yo, like it accentuates that highlight that you put on top of your brow. I then go in, uh-oh, I go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is the multi-use sculpting concealer and I use the shade Chestnut because that shade is the closest to my skin tone. So I use something that is really close to the skin tone so that I can put it up here so that there are no dramatic highlights when I use the flash or non-flash when I'm taking pictures because we all know that I like to take pictures, okay? And so that is why I use this one. And now I, I know some of you guys are like, well, why you don't use it under your eyes? Hmm, well not phone call, but you know, the, what's that emoji? Hmm, that, I know you guys are doing that. So let me just, let me help you. I don't like to use this under my eyes because it is very drying for under my eyes. And I told you guys like in the past that I do have some lines under my eyes, which we all do, but I have, you know, a little bit more than maybe the average person, okay? And what happens is if I put something that's too drying and then I'm setting it with a powder, 
it can, and I like to set with the powder because I like stuff to stay in place. It will make the creasing, it'll kind of highlight the creasing and it'll make things gather right in that area. So I don't need anything too drying, nor do I need anything too hydrating. Now, if I mix something that's a little drying with something hydrating, it's a win, win, win. Ay. Okay. So that is what I use in sculpting. Now this right here is actually a concealer that I use as a corrector. And we're not going to go into this today because it's pretty much all gone. I don't even know if y'all can see how empty that is. This is like my third or fourth one. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the shade 51 that I love to correct with. So since I cannot really use that and make it do what I need it to do, my backup, which is always good to have in your stash, is this LA Girl Corrector in the color orange, all right? That is what she looks like, and I've been using her for years. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that chestnut concealer, and I believe I did a video on this too. So I'm gonna take that chestnut concealer, and I am going to put them on my hand like this right here. And I don't use the, the corrector by itself with the orange because it's a little too orange. And then I have to go to work on Myra's feet to cover it up with foundation. And I'm just not, y'all know, I tell y'all all the time that I'm about low maintenance makeup. I just mixed that to make a corrector, as you see. It's a little bit orange, which is what I was going for. Check that out, see? I just got that on my concealer. And a spatula is a great thing to have if you are a mixologist such as I am. So I'm gonna take this and put this around my hyperpigmentation. And this is one reason I love concealers because I think that concealers are just made to, you know, spot conceal more so than foundations are. This is just, you know, my thoughts. And it, of course it depends on the foundation because some people spot conceal with their foundations. but. I just like to make my products last. And concealers are typically a little bit cheaper than foundations. So I feel like I can just dip a dab with some concealers and then get my foundations to do the rest of the work. Like I, it, when I correct like this, and y'all, stuff be coming to the dome as I'm filming. But when I correct like this, it makes me save foundation. I go under my eye right here with the same corrector. So as I am using the concealer that I love, that, that has really like, you know, kind of did some move over bacon. Here comes the beef concealers. I'm going to tell you about some of the concealers that I have grown to love, and I'm going to do my best to insert images of them as well while I'm talking about them. So, um, the first concealer that I absolutely love, and I've done videos on all of these concealers, is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, the regular one when they first launched that concealer. That concealer was bomb, but it was a little hydrating. So what I would do with that concealer, and I would show you them, but they are like, out they're expired or either I use them all, so that's why I don't have them. And my holy grails have been working, so I have not replenished them. So I'm just putting it out there and I'm talking about it. And if I have a video on it, um, you could check out that video, okay? But the Born This Way is great, but I would have to mix the Too Faced Born This Way concealer with the Tarte Shape Tape concealer, because the Tarte Shape Tape is great, but it was a little drying as well, very kind of thick and creamy and a little drying for me. So when I mixed the Too Faced Born This Way and the Tarte Shape Tape, it was bomb. And then another drugstore concealer that was super dope for me was the Maybelline Age Rewind. That was another great concealer that like legit stayed in place. I will put this in the description box because sometimes people do want to know the foundation I'm wearing and this is going to be a concoction of the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation and the Fenty Beauty. All right and then another concealer that was just all the way bomb was the LA Girl concealer of course right the one in Fawn I love to use that under the eyes as well. The only thing with that concealer is I um, I don't really like the fact that it has this brush on it when I'm doing it under the eyes. Like I prefer that under my brows when I'm sculpting, but when I am using this one under the eyes, like I prefer a doe foot applicator. So the other concealer that I have, that I love too, I told you the Maybelline Age Rewind and then Maybelline Superstay. That was a pretty good concealer too, as far as the drugstores go. But a lot of times when I'm doing makeup, people ask me like, what concealers do you recommend? Because because, and I love doing these videos to just talk with y'all too, but a lot of times people ask me, what do I recommend? Because when people are testing out, um, you know, foundations and concealers and different things like that, people don't want to spend a whole lot of money. They're just like, let me know what'll work for me just to cover up some stuff and be good. Even if you are like straight up rich, you know, it's like you, people kind of pick and choose what they want to spend their money on. And nine times out of 10, until you develop a love for makeup, 
you don't want to like spend it all there you know what i mean another concealer that i love as well is this concealer right here it is the urban decay stay naked concealer and this shade is in 70 um oh girl oh 70 in Y, so neutral yellow. Ooh, that's itching, okay. So I really like this concealer when I am just doing my everyday makeup look and all I'm doing is popping on some concealer and popping on powder. Well, maybe a little corrector too, okay? But this is really good for that. Um, I haven't really used it under the eye, but I definitely like it on the face. But let me tell you what has been the best concealer ever. Another concealer that's dope, which I think I still have. I think I used all of that one, but anyway, I also have the Makeup Forever HD, the Ultra HD concealer that I was getting to use under my eye, but it is a little bit bright, but I do like it under the eye. This is another good one as well. But the other one I was gonna talk about is the Makeup Revolution concealer. That concealer is the bomb.com as well, but Juvia's Place has taken my heart. So this is the one that I literally use like every day. I've replenished a couple of times, or maybe, I don't know, maybe this is my first time, but I ended up getting a skin tone one, which is nine. I ended up getting an 11, which is a little bit darker. And this one is the 12 that I use, but guess what? We really family when I'm turning back and forth with y'all. But this one, I got another 12 and I got another 11 because I wanted to make sure that I was stocked because I felt like I was running out, girl. So I'm gonna put this on as I talk to you about the other concealer. The Makeup Revolution is dope, but the only thing about the Makeup Revolution concealer is the fact that the Makeup Revolution concealer is not the perfect match. Like they have the 12, but the 12 is a little bit too neutral and then they have the 13 and the 13 is a little bit too dark and I think they ended up coming out with a 12 and a half which is cool but the 12 and a half just didn't give me the golden that this is giving me like I don't know if y'all can see that now you don't have to be as generous as I am but listen I love foundation and I love concealer. I can honestly say Maybelline Superstay is a win, win, win. Like I told you guys, Too Faced, Born This Way, this is just a little recap while we let that sit. Too Faced, Born This Way, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, win. LA Girl Concealer, win. Even the Corrector, win, okay? And the Makeup Forever, I'm about to say Makeup Revolution, Makeup Forever, win. Makeup Forever, win. Only thing about the Makeup Forever as well is they don't have a bunch of shades, you know, like in between this one and this one that give me like a real nice golden color as well, which is, this is like way bright. This is like when you want to like do some extreme highlighting for some photo shoot or something, okay? So I don't go to this every day. But these are some of my top concealers, you guys. If you wanna know Seeky's faves, those are they. And I I will show you the finished look with this too. But it, like I'm telling y'all, it all those concealers that I name, it'll probably get you right. But just know that I have combination skin and I do have like lines under my eyes. So it is very important that I don't use something too hydrating and then I don't use something too um, drying as well. I need something that has a balance to it. And this one, I, I found that. For me, it's not about if a concealer is gonna crease, it's about how long I can wear it before it's just extremely evident under my eyes for me, okay? And this, my friend, let me get the bun in, A. See, concealer, popping, concealer, popping, A. So that is it for the video on some of my top concealers. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. Do you want me to talk about liners? Do you want me to talk about lashes? Because I have a few lashes, but just keep in mind that even if I talk about a lot of the products that I've loved, some of them may be out of stock and some of them may have been replaced, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't a love thing. You know what I mean? Like I kind of, it, it, it's an interesting situation when you just love makeup, okay? But if you guys do want to see liner, lashes, all those different things, these are a few of my favorite things <laughs> let me know and i will get back to you guys so thank you guys so much for watching you guys have an awesome blessed day and i will see you sooner than you think wait hold up wait Wait, hold up. Okay, highlighter is Becca Chocolate Geode. Lippy is Max Lip Liner and Chestnut. And the lip gloss is ColourPop Lessons. Lessons? No. ColourPop Lesson Learned. All right? Deuces. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.